you need me to come and just do a quick worship a quick worship and prayer i pray may this meet you in good health in the name of jesus christ i pray may the lord almighty speak to you Resutani brandu shaka du zele gedushia ne brandu shana nana bo shila brandia hako talibo setaya. I pray may this meet you in good health in the name of Jesus Christ. Leke te ke te mantari brandaya ko talibo shele geduzia. Oh, I worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. Shaking a glory, oh, bo shaka dusia. Ne branda ya ko talibo she de ne bo se kada ya bo se. You renet him alive. Hande ne ne bo she kada na na bo se. Oh, shaking a glory, oh, oh, you renet him alive. I pray may this meet you in good health. The Lord is just leading me, pushing me to do this. Just quick worship and prayer. Shake head and 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 bo shadali branda ya ko tali bo siya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, fellowshiping with you is beautiful, Lord. It is beautiful to be in your presence. Ha ko tali bo siya. Le tu ne brando shake do sele branda ya bo I don't know. The Lord is keep saying to somebody. Help is coming for you. Shani bo shake to rebrando saka do se leke do she. Shake in a glory, oh, you reign it in my life. Hallelujah. You're bigger than what people say. Shade in a bo shake a do bada ya bo sala na bo se. You're bigger than what people say. You're bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people see. You are bigger than what people see. Oh, you are bigger than what people see. Oh, you are bigger than what people see. The Lord is saying, He's bigger than that thing. That thing that is in front of you right now. That situation that you are just looking at, it looks so big and mighty. You see yourself, you just think you're about to drown in it. You think there's no hope for you no more. You just think you're about to drown. Even everybody around you is saying, oh my God, this is too much. There's no way you're going to be able to get out of this. The Lord is saying he's bigger than that thing. He's bigger than that thing. The way people see it, the way you see it. That is not how God sees it. He's bigger than that situation that is bothering you. That situation that is bothering so small in the sight of God. The Lord is saying, put your trust in him. He's saying, trust me. I am here for you. He's saying, trust me. Come to me. Give it to me. He's saying, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest, says the Lord God of hosts. He's bigger than that problem that is in front of you. Oh, everybody's looking at it. They even say, even the things that people are saying concerning that situation. is even make it even bigger. You just feel you can't do this no more. You feel you have come to the end of the rope. When you feel that way, when you begin to feel that way, the Lord is saying, don't give up yet. Don't give up hope yet. He's saying, that thing that is weighing you down so heavily. I don't know what it is. Maybe you are feeling sick. Maybe your child is sick. Even your spouse. Who knows? Maybe your business is sinking. Is it ministry? Maybe your ministry is not going the way you had thought he would. And you are beginning to adopt the call of God in your life. You're beginning to think, oh my God, did you even call me? People might even be saying, look at you. Hey, hey, everybody is preaching. You want to preach too. But you know that the Lord has called you. You know the Lord has asked you to start that business. You know before you even started, you took it to God in prayer. And you got that confirmation. He's saying to you, he's bigger than that thing. That spirit of doubt. That spirit of fear that the enemy is planted in your mind. 
making you feel so small, making you feel that you are nothing, you are nobody. Even your own family may not even want to support you. Your friends may even desert you. Because they begin, they think you've lost your mind. How dare you say you want to start that business? How dare you say you want to marry that person? How dare you say this? How could you even think you can do that? But the Lord is saying, he's bigger. He's bigger than that thing that is looking at you right now. You're looking at it. And all you can think is, God, I cannot do this no more. I give this to you. And that's what the Lord wants you to do. Give it to him. He said, bring it. He says, my yoke is easy. What makes that yoke of God so heavy on you? Because you drag other things along. We drag other things along. We drag fear. We drag despair. We drag that feeling of hopelessness. We drag people who don't even believe in us. We drag people who are going to beat us down with their mouth because we love them. Let me tell you, the things of the Spirit cannot be emotional. It has to be guided by the Spirit. The Holy Spirit has to be, has to be the one speaking to you. When the Spirit of God is speaking to you and you are dragging every other thing along, that yoke that Jesus has promised us that is so light, it becomes so heavy. But by the time you let it all go, I'm telling you, just like he said, it is light. It is not a burden. Oh, hallelujah. Shake it up, Gloria. You reign it in my life. Hallelujah. You're bigger than what people say. You're bigger than what people say. You're bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Oh, you are bigger than what people see. You're bigger than what people do. They are going to do everything to try and derail you. Even those that you hold so dear. They are going to throw stones in your way for you to tumble and fall. The Lord is saying to you, he is bigger than those things. The Lord is saying, if you fall, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up because you trust in him. He's saying, even if you fall, get up, get going because he's the one that is leading you. He's saying, don't look back, don't look back anymore. Like Lot's wife, Lot's wife looked back and she turned to a pillar of salt. The Lord is saying, don't look back anymore. The more you look back, the more you lose hope. The more you look back, the more you feel so inadequate. The Lord is saying to you, keep going, keep going. I'm the one guiding you, keep going. I'm leading you, keep going. Just go on, keep moving, keep moving. I'm the one guiding you. Shaking a glory, oh, you reign it in my life. Oh, you are bigger than what people say. You're bigger than what people say. You're bigger than what people say. You're bigger than what people say. <laughs> Hallelujah. I pray may the Lord Almighty hold your hand and walk with you. May the Lord Almighty be your guide. May the Holy Spirit be the one that is speaking to you, not any other spirit. Every unclean spirit that is speaking in your ears, trying to misguide you, I pray may the fire of God locate that spirit today and destroy that spirit. Remove that spirit from your way in the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit, that dark presence around you that is misleading you, speaking so much doubt and horror into your mind, into your dreams, appearing to you in dreams, making it look as if you are about to die. Today, may the Lord of Jesus put a barricade between you and that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Receive your liberty from every demonic presence that is troubling your life. In the name of Jesus, every strange spirit that is coming to attack you in your dream, whichever way they come, the Lord Almighty will handle them 
and they will tumble and fall. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray may the Lord Almighty bless these words into your hearts today. May the Lord Almighty bless these words into your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for this moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this worship and prayer. As you have worshipped and prayed with me, the Lord Almighty will begin to guide you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not fail in Jesus' name. You will not fail in Jesus' name. I pray your future is bright in the name of Jesus. You will not fall into what the enemy is saying about you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever they are saying about you, laughing at you, that thing that the enemy is saying, using to describe you. Oh, look at that one. Look at that jobless one. Look at that barren one. Look at that old lady that can't find a wife, can't find a husband. That description that the enemy has given, that bad name they have given to you today, today, today. May the presence of the Holy Spirit remove it and give you a new identity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your new identity. Receive your new name. Receive your new name in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your new name. Receive your new identity in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Father Lord. Thank you Spirit of the living God. Father Lord Jesus Christ. You are all I have. I have no other God but you. I know you will not lead me astray. Because you are bigger than what anybody says. Thank you, Father Lord Jesus Christ. I cover today's worship and prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover me and my household with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover everyone that comes here with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father Lord Jesus Christ, send your angels to minister to them, Lord. Send your angels to minister to my followers. Send your angels to minister to anybody who will ever come to my messages. Anyone who will ever come across my messages. Send your angels to minister to them. Send your angels to comfort them. Send your angels to console them. Send your angels to speak to them. Send your angels to direct them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. The Lord of Mary. I don't know why I cry when I worship, but that is just how the Holy Spirit works with me. Those who are used to this page, you just don't worry about it. I, I'm just unable to hold it. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Thank you, Father Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Put your trust in Him. I encourage you. Put your trust in the Lord. Don't worry about the disappointments. Disappointment come to, to, to teach us a lesson. Sometimes those disappointments that we end up experiencing later, it is because the Lord was even speaking to us. And we did not listen to him. And then he allowed those things to happen. But the Lord has already said he will never leave you. Neither will he lead you astray. He will never forsake you, but he will be there. He said, when you pass through the deep waters, he will, he will be there with you. He did not say you will not pass through the deep waters. The Lord never promised us that we are not going to pass through deep waters. There is shallow waters that get to your knee. There is deep waters that almost my one will drown you. But I use the word almost because sometimes, because of our disobedience, the Lord will allow us to pass through those deep waters because of our not listening to him and hearkening to his voice, hearkening to the signs and wisdom and direction that he's been giving to us through dreams, through visions, even through other people that will come and speak to us. 
because we refuse to listen we allow our human emotions to get in to get between the spirit of god that is trying to mentor us and speak to us and direct us sometimes the lord will pull back he's there is watching he will but he will pull back and let us pass through that deep waters that deep waters we're gonna be going we're gonna fall into it but he will push us up and for a gasp of, of hair air we will go again we fall into almost dry he will push us up again because he wants us to experience what we get from disobedience but he is leading us he's going to take us out of that deep waters to the other side so by the time we get to the dry land then we will know that we need to listen to the voice of god I pray may we listen to the voice of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray may the voice of the Lord be so loud in your ears that no other voice can deceive you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The enemy is going to come with all different voices. He will come with the voice of your neighbor. He will come with the voice of that seductive woman, that seductive man. The Bible already said in the last days, many will come with seductive spirit. And they will say all kinds of things. They will preach all kinds of fake things. They will say all kinds of fake love in your ears. They will want to sell you all kinds of fake things, physically and spiritually. They will profess love to you. They will profess friendship to you. They will even profess anointing spiritual anointing to you but the lord is saying if we disobey him if we do not hearken to that voice of the holy spirit he's going to pull back and let us pass through that deep waters and what is that deep waters i'm talking about failures disappointments hatred you might even fall into terrible illnesses the Lord is going to allow us pass through it because we have been disobedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. But he already promised us that while we're passing through that deep waters, he will be there beside us, leading us through. He will not leave you. He will just let you have a taste of what disobedience brings. I pray may the Lord Almighty Pull us out of that deep waters quickly before we drown. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord Almighty quickly stretch his hand of help. And pull us out of that deep waters quickly. Before we drown. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord Almighty send you your helpers. And the Lord Almighty direct you. And I pray may you hear. You including me. May we hear clearly. The voice of the Spirit of God that is speaking to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let go of unneeded baggage. I just heard that. Thank you Holy Spirit. That just came to me. I just spoke it out without even thinking. It said let go of unneeded baggage. They tell them to let go of unneeded baggage. Says the Lord God of hosts. The Lord is saying to you. Saying to me. Saying to us. Let go of unneeded baggage. It makes the yoke of God. That he has said is so light. Unneeded baggage. Make that yoke of Jesus Christ. That is so light. It becomes so heavy. The Lord will provide for you in Jesus name. The Lord will direct you on how to make that money. Instead of going into prostitution, the Lord will direct you on the proper way to make clean money. Instead of doing money ritual, the Lord will direct you on the proper way to make clean money. <laughs> the, Lord did not, the, the, the Lord did not condemn being wealthy. He did not condemn being rich. Look at Abraham. Abraham was blessed. And we are descendants of Abraham based on the promises of God. But the way that we try to get the money 
If it is not according to the will of God, then we are committing sin. That is where the sin comes. You be a millionaire. The Lord wants us to be stinking rich. Don't let nobody deceive you saying to, to be a true Christian, you have to be wretched and broke and poor. No, that's not what the Lord has promised us. But the means, the route which wish we're going to make that money. If it is not pleasing to the Lord, then we have sinned. And when we make that money, if we are not using it for kingdom advancement, then we have sinned. If we're not using that money to help the poor, we're not using that money to take from it, so to pay tight, to take from it and, and just sow into the lives of those who are blessed, spiritual blessings to you. So into some old men and women in your communities. Help somebody who cannot pay school fees. Just pay school fees for one term, for one child. Then we are saying, The Lord Almighty bless these words into your heart. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father Lord, you have sent me and I have obeyed you today. Thank you, Father Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Take more of me, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take more of me and fill me with more of you. Holy Spirit, take more of me and fill me with more of you. Holy Spirit, take more of me and fill me with more of you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <sighs> God bless you, everybody. I don't know. I was about to eat. Uh, uh. O lika tu manturi brandu shaka darabo siliki dusia ne brandu shaka tori branda ya ko sili branda ya le brande leke turi katali branda ya ko tali bosia O lika tu la branda ya suti leke te Thank you Father Lord Jesus Christ Oh just give me a few minutes somebody just give me a few minutes <laughs> Mantara Katoshi, a le brandara kota le brando ya kota le bos. Thank you, Father Lord Jesus Christ. Want me to sing that song again? Takada ne 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 boshia. Lord is asking me to sing that song again. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Shaking a glory, oh, you reign in my life. You are bigger than. Okay, it's asking you to sing it wherever you are. Okay, it says tell them to sing that song. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So just, just sing, sing with me. Just sing it. Sing it, type it, whatever the Lord is putting. Just go ahead. Shaking a glory, oh, you reign it in my life. You're bigger than what people say. You are 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 bigger than what people do. You are bigger than what people see. You are bigger than what people say. You are bigger than what people say. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you as you have worshipped with me. I was about to eat dinner. I I have my I made the chicken noodle. I just I was just hungry for chicken noodle. I said, let me just eat some chicken noodle. As I put it down, and I just began to just get moved by this Holy Spirit so strongly, and the Lord just began to ask me, "Come, is, you haven't worshipped me today?" And it's true. All day I have not prayed. I have not worshipped, and. Uh, I did last time I prayed and worship was last night and uh, I've just been so occupied with many other things Holy, the Holy Spirit is a, is a the Lord he said it already he said I am a jealous God <laughs> the Lord is a jealous God you cannot put any other thing above him I just I, I was busy with many other things I walked last night I, 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 I closed I was so tired. I slept. Hi, hello, brothers. Oh, hello, love, Cassie. Oh, sister, Denny K. God bless you. I haven't seen you in a while, sister. How are you? Shineye, God bless you. Sister Meze, God bless you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Salihu, Suleiman. 
God bless you. Thank you for joining. Um, I haven't really been in the presence of God all day. Well, we are always in the presence of God. What I mean is, I was so tired when I walked, came home, which is unusual. Usually, no matter how tired I am, at least I will still kneel down or just sit on my prayer. I have a little prayer corner, and I would even if it's one minute prayer. Uh, but I was so dead tired. I got home, showered, and went straight to bed. And I slept very. I slept for long, long hours. Then I woke up like around. 3 p.m. and I came straight to the kitchen and cleaning, do everything, and I said, "Okay, let me make some thing." I just made some um, chicken noodle soup. Let me even show you. As I was about to, while I was using the microwave fixing it, I kept hearing, "You haven't worshipped me today. You have not worshipped me today." And I was like, "Okay, Lord, maybe before I go to bed, I would do that." But the Holy Spirit is, I'm telling you, is a very jealous spirit. He wants all of you. He wants your attention. The Holy Spirit is a he because it, it is Jesus Christ. Don't forget that when Jesus was preparing to leave, he promised his disciples that I'm going I'm to go to my father's house and prepare you a place. But while I have gone, I will send you a friend, a comforter, and in the person of the Holy Spirit. So... The Holy Spirit is a comforter, it's a friend. It's a friend that's sick closer than a brother. Uh, so as I was all over the kitchen, I was hearing, you haven't worshipped me today. You haven't worshipped me today. So I was saying, I'm sorry, Father. <laughs> you can't talk to him. He's your father. You can, you can, sometime all by myself, I'm hearing that voice of the Spirit and I'm talking back. It's okay. Somebody might say, you, I think you, you're crazy. You're not crazy. You know there is the Holy Spirit speaking to you, and I'm I'm in the kitchen. I'm saying, okay, I'm, okay, Father, I'm sorry, Father. I'll do that soon, Father. I'm sorry, Father, but that's not the Holy Spirit wanted my attention. And I put, look at the food here. Let me show you. I put, um, let me just turn this camera a little bit. I put the, I prepared the noodle. The water is all dried on it. Let me see if I can show you guys. All right, <laughs> so you see my noodle. You see my noodle. Oh, the water is all dry now. Oh, all right. As soon as I put it down, the spirit of God just took over me. Now, now, I kept hearing now. So I just on my my thing, and I began to just worship with everybody else. That is how the Holy Spirit works with us. <sighs> my noodle don't change. The, yeah, <laughs> my noodle don't cool. I'll go warm it up in a little bit. God bless you, everybody. Um, keep your faith in Christ. <laughs> keep your faith in Christ. No matter what the enemy is projecting to your face, Satan is very wise. He's very tricky. The Bible calls him that cunning old serpent. It's an ancient spirit. It's old. It's old. Remember when God created uh, the Garden of Eden, created all animals. Satan is not that serpent. Hope you all know that. That serpent that came to tempt Eve. That's not Satan himself. Just like Satan can enter anybody, can enter me to, to, to destroy you, can enter your friend, can enter a dog, can enter a cat. The same way Satan came in the form of that snake, entered into that snake to deceive. Satan was already there. Was already there. May the Lord Almighty give, give you an understanding of his plan and purpose for you. God bless you. I will see you all some other time. See, how's my face fine. Maybe I should stop wearing makeup, Seth. Uh -uh. My face looks so nice and smooth. Uh -uh. I think I'm going to stop wearing makeup. For wear, I go wear small, small. God didn't, that's another thing we need to know. The Bible did not condemn makeup. He admonished us to dress modestly. Now, modest dressing is your interpretation. He admonished us to not adorn your face 
or your hair with gold. When you adorn something, when you adorn, like if you you adorn your face with your hair with gold, you put it means you you put gold here, gold there, you put everything all over. You are all gold. If you put one small earring here, put one light in here, that's not what God is saying we shouldn't do. May the Lord Almighty give us an understanding of His word. God bless you. Let me go and warm up my noodle and eat it now. The Holy Spirit has released me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> I just said, I'm, I'm pleased. I just heard that I'm pleased. I just heard that and I said, I'm pleased with you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus Christ. So I'll see you all some other time. I'll see you all next time. I love you all with the love of Christ. Have a great day. Happy Easter once again, everybody. God bless you.